it is YouTube, it's your boy DeathCon3000, and I'm bringing you a vlog because I've had some stuff on my mind here lately, and <clears throat> it all started uh, yesterday uh, when I got a message from my subscriber. One of my older subscribers that I don't talk to much anymore, he's on my Skype and whatnot, um, but... What struck me as weird is, is it was one of my older videos that this subscriber, Bork Films is his name, a really good guy, he commented on what was the song of the video um, that I put up. Well, I didn't remember the song, but I decided to watch the commentary that I did. And I watched the commentary through. And now, keep in mind, this is like one of my first maybe 30 vids that I ever did on my YouTube channel. And probably about two minutes into it, I was really surprised on how much better it was than my latest 30 videos. And it really made me think. You know, uh, my channels went up and down in subscribers, and I've earned every bit of the 268 subscribers I've had. I'm glad that I've earned them. I haven't asked for shout-outs from people, and I'm proud of that. Uh, but I lost a lot of viewers. I still got a lot of subscribers that I don't think view my videos uh, like they used to. Um, but I kind of see the reason why. Um, after viewing that video... My commentaries used to be a lot better. Well, the quality of my videos. You know, the HD is good on my videos. The commentaries are okay in my past 30 videos. The audio quality is pretty good. But I've have been having an issue here lately with Sony Vegas. And it's not rendering my videos right. So hopefully nothing's wrong with it. Uh, because I don't want to go out and buy Sony Vegas, if you know what I mean. But anyways, uh, my two recent videos that I put out, I took down. Uh, because really, honestly, me and myself, I wasn't very happy about it. Uh, probably past month or two, um, I've been trying to figure out what can I do to bring more people to my channel. Well, I decided that what I would do is post a lot more content. Uh, you know, everybody gets Call of Duty or tired of Call of Duty. Uh, I'm a Call of Duty fanboy. It's what I love to play, and it's what this channel started out as. You know, um, I don't love Battlefield 3. I don't love Crisis 2. I don't love Need for Speed The Run. I love Call of Duty. You know, and it saddens me from Call of Duty 4 to Modern Warfare 3 how much. The game has changed. Call of Duty 4, 357 kill streaks. That game was an amazing game. I still go back and play that game, and I actually have less frustration. It's more enjoyable to me, that Call of Duty. I could go back and play, what was it, Call of Duty 2, which I've been playing Call of Duty forever. On the GameCube, remember when it came out on Nintendo? It wasn't no multiplayer, nothing like that. But uh, it was really, really fun. And the point of me saying all this is, you know, Call of Duty 4, you didn't really see the lag compensation in it. Which the original makers of Infinity Ward made this game. Then you have Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it was a big step up from Call of Duty 4. They put some crazy ass perks. Not so much weapons. Perks, I think, was the main issue of that. You know, you had Commando, like everybody's talked about a million times. You had the noob tubes. But you didn't see the lag compensation. You can go back now and play Modern Warfare 2, and it just seems like such a better game. Even better than Black Ops and definitely Modern Warfare 3. You didn't really see the lag compensation until Black Ops came out. And a lot of people did not like Black Ops because of that. Uh, you know, the lag compensation just showed in Black Ops. So, 
I don't understand if it was in Call of Duty 4, if it was in Modern Warfare 2, okay? And Modern Warfare 2 had its issues, but the connection and the hit detection was amazing, okay? Then you have a game that Treyarch put out. We're not even talking about War to War, because, you know, War to War, I didn't really see no lag compensation in it. I only played it for zombies. And then Black Ops came out, and you start getting all this lag compensation and issues with hit detection. And, uh, you know, I didn't love Black Ops, you know. But hands down, it's a better, well, it's a better game than Modern Warfare 3. I'm hoping that Treyarch changes the game and take some of the stuff out of Black Ops, which they put in. You know what I'm going to say. You know, go second chance. Please, Treyarch, take that stuff out of the game. Your zombies is amazing. Black Ops could be a lot more amazing. You know, if you take the cheap perks out of there, take all the bullshit kill streaks out, make Black Ops a 357 like Call of Duty 4 was. I promise you, it's going to make a lot of people more happy. Uh, you know, if you suck, you suck. You know, me, myself, I'm better at Call of Duty rather than any other game that I play. Uh, a lot of people say Call of Duty is easy. I don't think so much. Uh, putting kill streaks in Call of Duty like they have Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, it makes it it does make it easier for you know people just coming into the game uh, if they're doing so bad to camp their ass off and and build up kill streaks and stuff. But if you took that out of there, then Call of Duty would be purely on skill and the Call of Duty community is crying out for dedicated servers. We all are as gamers. So, you know, they come out with Modern Warfare 3, and like I said in a previous video, I had high expectations for Modern Warfare 3, which a lot of people did. And it's really let the Call of Duty community down. You know, there's lots of guys that like Call of Duty, but don't play Call of Duty, because what the franchise has done with Modern Warfare 3, you know, and, you know, everybody has to keep in mind, you know, Modern Warfare 3 is not the original Infinity Ward. It's a totally different game. It's a totally different Call of Duty. You know, you have another developer come in, Sledgehammer Games, and they help with the multiplayer. You have some people, I don't know exactly who, uh, some people that used to work with Modern Warfare, or, yeah, Modern Warfare 2, some old members of Infinity Ward come in and help with Modern Warfare 3. And I just, man, they just really screwed up Modern Warfare 3 bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, I play it and I enjoy it. Rather than, you know, you're hearing a lot of stuff on Twitter, a lot of people going to black, back to black up and stuff. I still enjoy Modern Warfare 3 very much so. Um, so... The point of me doing this whole commentary is, you know, there's some changes that's definitely going to be happening to my channel. I think I went down the wrong path, uh, me saying that I was going to change my channel a whole lot and post lots of different gameplays uh, because, you know, the roots of my channel, I started out as a Call of Duty channel. Now, there's a lots of Call of Duty channels out there. Because people enjoy to play the game, and they're posting what they enjoy to do. Now, yes, most of your views and stuff come from Call of Duty. Most people want to watch Call of Duty. It's more fun and exciting to watch, personally, in my opinion, rather than watching Crisis 2, watching Battlefield 3. Uh, watching any other first-person shooter. There are some games out there, uh, you know, that are fun to watch on YouTube and entertaining. But in my opinion, Call of Duty is the most entertaining thing to watch. It's fast-paced, you know, guys quick scoping, which I'm not so much for. Uh, I, th I think they need to tone the quick scoping down, not completely take it out. A lot of people think they should completely take it out. Um, I think it should be more like Call of Duty for quick scoping. You know, I, before Modern Warfare 3 came out, they were saying that they were going to put lots of aspects of Call of Duty 4 into Modern Warfare 3. I don't see that, you know. So hopefully 
when Treyarch comes out with Black Ops 2 or whatever it's called, I don't know what it's going to be called, they will do 357 kill streak. You know, we need to let them know that's what we want. We don't want all the bullshit kill streaks. You know, we want it to be strictly gun on gun. God, if Treyarch could step up and fucking put Black Ops 2 dedicated servers, take out Ghost, One Man Army, and, and let me say, it sounds like I'm complaining about every Call of Duty. Well, each Call of Duty has its good things about it and bad things about it. Now, people say by the time Modern Warfare 3 came out, they're tired of it. They want something new. I don't blame them type of people. But if you came out with a game like another game like Call of Duty 4, just like Call of Duty 4, but just improved it, different guns, 357 kill streak, people would buy that game and enjoy it much more than they would Modern Warfare 3. Absolutely. It's the mechanics of the game that we love. It's not so much the kill streaks and, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, you know, it makes it easier for some people, like I said, to get in there and, you know, go 30 and 2. And I'm guilty of it myself. Um, you know, I spam the hell out of kill streaks. I love spamming the hell out of kill streaks. I'm on over 3. Yeah, they're fun. But I don't think they're much funner than 357 versus Call of Duty 4 because I get in there and you get 357, you spam 357. But guys, you know, you only have three kill streaks like that. They're e they're easy to take out. You know, the, you don't have a fucking Harrier running around, you know, zip, zip, zip. People camping in corners trying to get nukes, you know, whatnot. Uh, it seems like to me that, you know, they don't really listen to the community. I thought with Modern Warfare 3, they were going to listen to the community a lot more. But it seems like they don't listen to the community. You know, they always figure out a way to talk about something else they're fixing and whatnot uh, rather than fixing what they what's most important it almost makes me think that they can't fix it you know that they're incapable of fixing the issues with modern warfare 3 people's been crying out loud fix the lag compensation please tone it down work on that well you know robert bowen's talking about you know a new playlist map you know i don't care about the new playlist map Yes, it's fun, it's something different, you know, but you're taking one thing away, which was Drop Zone, putting in Affected on Modern Warfare 3 Playlist, and you're making a bunch of people upset over here because they love Drop Zone. Well, they don't have enough room, is what Robert Boland said on Twitter, to put Drop Zone and Infected in the game. That's my point. They're so worried about stuff like that when... They need to work on the hit detection, the lag compensation. You know, I mean, I have a beast-ass connection at my house. But I suffer because of that. You know, I just recently moved to another house. You know, I don't have a beast-beast connection, but a lot better than what I did. I had six down, one up, and now I DSL. Now I have 30 down and three up, which is amazing uploading videos. So... I mean, I really wished, you know, they're killing their own franchise, and I really, 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 really wish, hope, cross your fingers, that Treyarch, you know, David Vonderhart, or however you say his name, uh, the community manager, manager for Treyarch, is he the community manager, or what? I don't know. But <laughs> I thought, uh, what was that young guy's name? Uh, damn it, I forgot his name. But uh, besides the point, you know, I'm hoping... That he re they really listen finally for Call of Duty. Now I had these expect expectations for Modern Warfare 3, and it didn't happen. You know, like I said, I had high expectations, and they just blew them all to hell. I mean, you know, I think Modern Warfare 3 has hurt the Call of Duty franchise more than any Call of Duty so far. I'm not saying I don't have them playing it, but that's just the way it is. So the whole point of me talking about all this and doing this commentary is I'm going to be going back to my roots. Uh, the way I used to do my videos, I used to only post one, maybe maybe two videos a week, you know, every four or five days. And, you know, like I said, beyond that, I decided, hey, I'm going to start putting more 
videos out, maybe two a day, maybe try to post at one every day. Well, when you work 60 hours like me, 